Well, in case you hadn't noticed, we are a coalition. Uh, it is a uh, coalition that governs Australia. Uh, uh, we all have a view, and uh, on, on any issue, uh, all members of the uh, coalition are involved, as it should be. Well, yes. I mean, I'm, I, I can't even say I think it was the beginning of the matter. I mean, it is such a low order issue uh, for me and my constituents. Uh, you know, I can honestly say to you that apart from the campaign letters and emails, uh, very, very few people have ever uh, raised the issue for me. It's not an issue for mainstream uh, Australia. It's not really an issue, I think, for uh, uh, many of those more uh, intimately involved in the uh, issue. And uh, what people want us to do is to get on with the job, provide uh, jobs for Australians, uh, try and fix uh, Labor's mess, uh, trying to get the economy going, trying to pay off Labor's debt. That's, that's what people really want us. And I, I know uh, um, you guys get uh, fixated on these minor issues. Uh, as I said in my... One of the things I said in my contribution is the only uh, problem I have with... Uh, with uh, uh, this issue, I think, going off the table is that the ABC journalists will have to actually get out and do some real reporting. I, I wouldn't, uh, would, wouldn't say that it's a policy of going to a plebiscite. Uh, it would be after the next election. Uh, and quite frankly, I think the people of Australia probably do want to have a say and to give direction to their parliamentarians. What we don't want at the next election was so many issues of importance in terms of the economy of this country, in terms of the need for growth, the need for jobs. We don't want this to be the overarching issue at a federal election. Uh, gay relationships have been around for as long as humans have been on the earth, but the idea that marriage is between anything than a man and a woman has only recently come about. I mean, if, uh, without trying to be too uh, effervescent, Hephaestion and Alexander were around a long time before this debate, but um, Alexander was married later on to Roxanne. Um, it's the issue that marriage is, in, in the old whole etymology of the word, it is, uh, it is about the process of having children, and that requires a man and a woman. Oh, I think the PM was damned if he did, damned if he didn't, but I think uh, history will show that he'll be more damned by not allowing a conscience vote. I mean, what's going to happen? It's one thing for a backbench coalition member to cross the floor, but what happens if a cabinet minister abstains from the vote? That's not crossing the floor. What happens to that cabinet minister? Because I suspect there may be one or two cabinet ministers or more that may be thinking about abstaining from a vote on same-sex marriage so they don't have to be seen to be voting against it. I'm, I'm optimistic about this. There is a tidal wave of community support. We will have an end to discrimination in marriage once and for all. Now, whether it happens uh, under this Prime Minister's watch or in the next government, it will happen, and it will happen soon. But you know, this guy's basically trying to hold this tidal wave of community support, um, and he can't do it. He won't be able to do it. And what he will do is he will cement home to the Australian people that he is a man who's so out of touch, who still thinks that discrimination when it comes to relationships is appropriate. And, uh, and this will be a legacy that lives with him um, to, uh, you know, beyond his prime ministership. He will forever be regarded as the person who stood in the way of ending discrimination between two people.